Hey folks, we're back with more Steam Deck impressions here. I wanted to talk about the button layout and the ergonomics of this product uh, real quick in a different video. So here we are. Still have Hades running on this. So yeah, up here you got the power button. Uh, that's the USB-C connector. Headphone jack, volume controls. Shoulder buttons and triggers, and I have to say, the shoulder buttons and triggers are some of the high points of this device, honestly, when it comes to how things feel. Uh, on the front of the device, you have the D-pad over here, which is almost falling off the side of the device, as is the B button and you know, ABXY over here, similar style to the Xbox controllers. The analog joysticks are okay. Uh, they obviously click in, so you can do that. Um, they're, they're not terrible, they're not the best that I've held in any controller. Here we have the touch pads that Valve seems to really think <laughs> need to be <laughs> given prime locations on the, on the device. Uh, you have a pause button up here, you have like a menu button or a select button over here. Uh, here's your steam button which kind of serves as a home button. And then there's another button over here that brings up like a quick, uh, you know, you can pull up your battery performance, you can pull up uh, all sorts of stuff, and notifications like your friends list. Yeah, so th that's kind of the buttons on the front facing. There are some grip buttons here and here, so there's two assignable grip buttons. I will say that I accidentally grabbed them quite a bit, especially if you're having to type on the screen, you have to hold it one-handed. So I accidentally will hit those. Luckily, they're not assigned anything by default. On the back, I think it's very important to note that this... <laughs> it's a intake, I believe, for the heat. Uh, this is the exhaust port, I would say. Uh, I guess it's probably just best to show it. Uh, depending on how you hold the device, your finger may rest up against that... Uh, vent. And it's just kind of weird to see, you know, it's just not a symmetrical thing. So just from an industrial design, design standpoint, it looks kind of weird. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why they put it here as opposed to here or uh, what the logic was, uh, but yeah, this thing definitely can run hot, so having good ventilation makes a lot of sense. I just think it looks kind of ugly, and my fingers do rest on it when I'm holding it, kind of like there you go, that's a good shot of it. Basically, like, just your ring finger. I have bigger hands. Ergonomically, I have to say that after extended play sessions, if you're using the D-pad almost exclusively or the ABXY a lot, it does get a little bit annoying on the edge. So if you're pushing left here or if you're pushing B here, it just feels weird. Uh, also, just from a weight displacement standpoint, these handles are very heavy relative to the rest of the device. As you can see, they're also thicker. It's noticeable when you're like typing on the screen one-handed or just over time. I found myself playing with this in my lap more than holding it like a handheld. Uh, so yeah, that's just kind of a quick overview. I will say a couple other things real quick. These uh, Steam and the dot 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 buttons are very flush with the device, so they're hard to find in the dark. This is not as bad up here with the pause or the start button and the select button, whatever you want to call them. I do like the D-pad's clickiness, I just think it's in a poor location. I also, like I mentioned earlier, I really do like the triggers and the shoulder buttons. Uh, I would like to see other portable companies maybe uh, draw some inspiration from these. But outside of that, I think this contour is okay here. But the way that the weight is displaced, I don't enjoy holding this thing for extended periods of time. To be honest with you, it might just be my personal preference. You're going to have to feel it for yourself to really judge it. But after extended play sessions of two hours or more, I just found it hard to continue to hold. Uh, when playing a game like Rocket League, you don't notice the button issues as much because, you know, you're really only using D-pad to quick chat. And, you know, you definitely use these buttons. You're using B for boost it does get that, that same thing I was talking about. When you're using the edge of the device while holding it, it's definitely the least comfortable of the experiences. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how I feel about the ergonomics of this device. It's not great, and I hope that there are companies paying attention to this that can learn from it in the future. Head over to shacknews.com to see my full review of the Steam Deck. 
And also uh, make sure to subscribe and like this video, hit the bell. We have more Steam Deck content hitting this channel today. Thanks.